carried on up Loch Ness all day, unsuccessfully scanning the choppy waters for Nessie. At the end of a long day, we arrived in the calm waters of Fort Augustus, ready to go up the long flight of locks the next day. I got up at dawn and went to have a look at the locks. It was extremely quiet in this pretty little town. The only disturbance was the constant sound of rushing water flowing over the top of the locks due to the recent autumn rain. It was a long way up and I had no idea how long it would take or how many boats would be with us. As I watched the clouds snuggled on the top of the mountains, I wondered how the forecasted winds and storms would affect us that day. Most of the canal was very quiet. But we did see the Big 32 a few times on our way through. The locks went well with the help from the lovely staff. And apart from having to stop early on one day because the locks and bridges had been closed due to high winds, we managed to get through the whole Caledonian Canal to Corpac Marina opposite Fort William. And welcome to this week's video from the boat again. We're still in Carrera, uh, opposite Oban, still moored up for a few days. And I wanted to do another sketch this week, uh, ready for a painting when we get back off the boat. I don't think I'm gonna have time to actually do any painting on the boat this journey. Definitely next time I'm up, definitely next time I'm up, I'm actually going to come up and do some painting on the boat. I might do one of these actually. So, last week uh, I did the Loch Ness Monster. This week I'm going to sketch, uh, there was part of the canal, the Caledonian Canal, that I, it intrigued me. There was, as we were going through the Caledonian Canal, really low to the water, water level, looked like little drainage tunnels. I don't know what they're for. I, technically, I don't know what they do. But I really wanted to use those idea, those little tunnels, as an area of. Um, mystery as to what might be inside. So what I'm going to do is just think about what would live inside those um, those holes. So I've got my sketchbook on the side. Let's have a go. So here we go. We have these tunnel channel things at the bottom of the locks. Not on all of them. And in here, I 
I can just imagine like something I don't want to make it too obvious as to what it is so all this would be really dark and then the, the, the actual bricks of the lock here lock l-o-c-k not L lock l-o-c-h <laughs> that's been really confusing this this holiday locks and locks locks and locks and then what i might do down here as well is while we were going through neptune's staircase i did see a little frog in the water that little frog i'm gonna have him swimming past and he's gonna be watching the frog i might i, I, I might put some signage up or something or have a look but there is gonna be a, a creature that lives in those tunnels through the Caledonian Canal. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So last week, you remember Loch Ness Monster. This week, Drain. Oh, well, you, I don't know what a name for this one. You'll have to give me a name for this guy or this girl. What is this thing that lives in the drains in the Caledonian Canal? So the only thing I need to do now is paint a proper painting of it when I get back. Because this one's actually quite simple, I might have a go at it on the boat if I get time. There's still quite a lot of jobs to do. We need to get the engine ready for Wednesday and we do engine checks every time because cleaning the water filters to stop the engine overheating and things like that we do that every time we turn the engine on uh, and because the weather's so bad we have to check everything all the mooring lines and things and yeah it's all good fun we love it um, but it can be a bit rocky <laughs> so we have our little monster um we've got two more days in carrera i'm going to see if anything else pops into my mind on the from the journey so far and if not i'll if it does i'll do a sketch of that one and hopefully do another painting but there's plenty more to see there's plenty more to find if we are in here for another couple of days just thinking I don't think I'd be able to get round enough of it I was gonna do maybe a spirit of Carrera but we're all I mean it would just be this corner because we can't get down the other end of Carrera we're just on the boat and that's it so I'll see what I can do anyway. I, I paint when it, what comes into my head. Don't paint something if it doesn't come into my head, which makes sense. Huh. Right. And here's the painting that did come into my head. I painted it at Swinton Art Club on Monday, just took a couple of hours and I've painted it quite small um, because I didn't know how it was going to turn out with not being able to see properly. Not long now to get my eyes done, it's only four weeks, but they are getting quite bad now. Um, I, I'm not driving at night or anything like that now. Um, so th this is the painting, I'm quite pleased with it, and thank you all for your suggestions for names. I'm going to put them all down in the description, and then you can uh, th still make suggestions, and then I can add them all to the description as well. Uh, the other thing I did this week was I released all the 30 art course exercises which have gone really really well I'm really pleased with uh, the response I've got so thank you all for watching um, it, it's been a fantastic thing and, and I'm really pleased that people are actually 
uh, enjoying watching them and getting something out of it and they're using them to using the videos to help them with their artwork which is really what what I wanted I wanted to get as many people as possible to see them so that it's just a different way of thinking about learning to draw and paint rather than from the technical side it's from the communication side what you're trying to say in your drawing what you're trying to say in your painting what you're exploring not always necessarily a message sometimes it can just be the materials just exploring the materials but within this course you get a chance to have um, a, a, a decision process on how to do that and yeah I'm getting some really good feedback so thank you to everyone that, that's helped with those as well um, so I don't know how long it's going to be to the next video I don't think it's going to be every week now because it's taking me longer to make the videos it's definitely taking longer to paint now so I'll, I'll be releasing them as often as I can until I get my eyes uh, done uh, in about four weeks time I think it is so I'll carry on trying to put together the sailing videos and do a little bit of drawing and painting when I can uh, and, and get things out quite regularly but I don't know how long it'll be so thank you very much for all your support all your likes all your subscribes um, and I'm going to try and keep it going right so there's the painting um, that I've done of the monster um, I hope you've enjoyed it we've got a little bit more traveling to do but we'll see you in the next in the next video so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.